Even before Keir Starmer had asked his first question, Rishi Sunak managed to slip in a dig about Labour's position on gender. It was in response to this. Given that the leader of the opposition apparently doesn't know what a woman is, <laughs> that he won't stand up to defend women in his own party, voicing views on women's rights, and according to his own front bench, failed to prosecute rapists when he was in charge as DPP, does my right honourable friend think that the Labour Party are in any position to teach anyone about respect for women? They should work out the answer to one very simple question. I'm certain what a woman is, is he? <laughs> the Labour leader did not take the bait and dodged that topic. Today, Keir Starmer could have asked about the Sudan evacuation or the Dominic Raab bullying row, but instead he focused on the economy and cost of living, with some thinly veiled attacks on the PM, including a riposte to last week being labelled Mr Softy. Yeah. This is Mr 24 tax rises. Yeah. And I've never heard anything so out of touch. Does he really think that everything's fine? Or is he just clueless about life outside of his bubble? He refuses to scrap the non-DOM status that benefits him and his family. Yeah. This, I can see why he's attracted to this non-DOM thing. Yeah. This Prime Minister is so removed from the country that he boasted that he didn't know a single working class person. Yeah. Those questions from Sakir did seem shorter and sharper than usual, but it all got pretty personal. While Starmer painted Sunak as out of touch, Sunak argued Starmer is weak. He talks about this London thing. I think he's already spent the money that he claims he'd raised on five different things. The rank hypocrisy of it. On Monday, in the other place, they decided to side with extremist protesters. Just yesterday, they sided with polluters, Mr Speaker. We're siding with the British people, Mr Speaker. That's what the Conservative government does. Perhaps no surprise we saw that tone of debate with local elections now just eight days away. And meanwhile, the SNP's leader made an effective point with questions about UK immigration policy. Can I ask the Prime Minister to outline the safe and legal route available to a child refugee seeking to flee Sudan and come to the United Kingdom? Now that he has confirmed that there is no safe and legal route, will he therefore confirm that it would be his government's intention to detain and deport a child refugee who flees Sudan and comes to the United Kingdom? This country has a proud record of compassionately supporting those who need our assistance. Elsewhere, the PM gave a clear answer on paying reparations for the UK's role in slavery. And offer a full and meaningful apology for our country's role in slavery and colonialism and commit to reparatory justice. No, no, Mr Speaker. When asked by an SNP MP about Dominic Raab and bullying, Mr Sunak nodded towards the ongoing police investigation into SNP finances. It is somewhat odd to be getting lectures on values right now from the SNP. <laughs> And the Speaker got a little confused, introducing Keir Starmer as if he was running the country. So just be aware that somebody will be going for that cup of tea today, Prime Minister. Perhaps if opinion polls prove accurate, a sign of things to come.